Welcome to Glengara Retirement Village. The village is located at Tumbiumbi on the New South Wales Central Coast. There are the benefits of a more relaxed country environment. However, the metropolis of Sydney can be visited by air-conditioned train which follows a scenic route. Or, the drive along the motorway to Sydney takes a little over an hour, or perhaps an hour and a half. The villas are set in award-winning gardens which have a distinct tropical theme. A team of gardeners ensures that the high standard of the gardens is maintained. You can enjoy the open air and perhaps have a barbecue and fraternise with your neighbours in one of the gazebos around the site. Each villa is very well appointed. They have ducted air conditioning and fans in the bedrooms. They also have a ducted vacuum cleaner system, dishwasher, carpets and a remote control garage door. A range of accommodations is available from two to three bedrooms and single and double garages. A focal point of the community is the country club. This building includes a dining area, stage area and many other rooms for the use of village residents. There is a bar and an industrial kitchen. Here is a view of the entertainment area and another view of that area taken from the first floor level of the building. This is a view towards the main entrance of the country club. And here is the dining area. And here is the dining area looking towards the bar. Anybody for billiards or snooker? Two tables are available. The library is very comprehensive, containing thousands of books and also audio CDs, videos and DVDs. It also provides an area where large jigsaws can be put together. There is also a copying machine for the use of residents. There are many activities in the club, things such as bingo and card games, line dancing, church services and Tai Chi. The pool, which forms part of the country club complex, is heated so that residents can enjoy it all year round. The architecture is reminiscent of that in the film Cocoon. However, there the similarity ends as there are no magic rocks in this particular pool. Adjacent to the country club is the bowling green. The bowling fraternity is very active. The club interacts with other clubs attached to retirement villages on the central coast and there is a special interaction between the other villages of the Glen Group on the Central Coast. The village bus, affectionately referred to as Glenda, is there to take residents on excursions. Each week it goes to one of the shopping complexes which are only a short driving distance from Glengara. There is a small stockland complex at Barrow Bay and a larger Westfield complex at Tugra. You are covered by emergencies by a special 24-7 emergency phone system and there are public hospitals and some private hospitals on the central coast. Also, you don't need to travel, just get the chemist to pick it up and deliver for you. Glengara is not far from some fine beaches. The closest beach is Shelley Beach, but there are other beaches at places such as Tawoon Bay and the entrance. Also. A short drive away is the Tugra Lake, where one can enjoy the pleasures of boating on tranquil waters. Perhaps you'd like to take a short walk, and there you will find McDonald's, naturally. But then again, if your taste is different, Domino's and Subway's is there available. And of course, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Perhaps you have a sweet tooth. Krispy Kreme is also available there. The Mingara Club is a very desirable venue 
having several restaurants, a fitness centre, a healing centre with physiotherapy, chiropractic and massage, and various other amenities such as an Olympic sized swimming pool and bowling greens. A very worthwhile club to join as it is so close to Glengara. And now let's have a look at some of the activities. What do you do here on a Saturday morning, please? On a Saturday morning, we uh, do a, quite a few things. There's uh, members come up or anybody that wants to ask questions about the computers. We also do update the computers, uh, the programs, and uh, make sure that everything's working correctly. Also, the Apple group meets in here once a month for their group meeting, and uh, they, uh, it's a very um, easy going sort of thing. We always answer every question we possibly can and try to solve their problems that they do have which uh, sometimes is quite uh, large. <laughs> but uh, generally we um, just looking after all the, the, just the everyday pro problems that we do get in a computer. Good morning, Meg. Please tell us how you use the recreation room. We use it every Saturday for people to come along and uh, talk to other people and not be lonely in their villas. We um, make things for charity for uh, East Timor and for Africa and also for the oncology wards of Gosford and Wild Hospital. Uh, there is no need to be making anything, you can still come along and just talk and have a coffee and just have a chat with everyone that comes along and enjoy the morning. Good morning, June. Good morning, Donnie. Could you tell us what you do here on a Saturday morning, please? Well, mostly we make cards. Uh, well, downstairs in the country club we have a, a box of cards people can purchase for two dollars and it's a sort of a convenience for people that can't get out to shop so we make them for, um, for I don't know whether you can see that for example oh, that's lovely various ones for all occasions sympathy get well happy birthday thinking of you so that's mainly what we do on the set. Good morning, Pat. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Uh, this is a Monday morning. Tell me what you do on Monday morning. Monday please. morning is a great time because I look forward to Taji and we go to have a really good time for an hour and a half with Heidi, who's a wonderful person. She teaches us how to meditate, how to relax and how to do Tai Chi. Enjoyable and every Monday is a great day.